We humans have got loads of words for red. Vermilion and ruby, scarlet and crimson. And it strikes me that all of those words imply something that's bright and deep and rich. For us, red is the colour of love and the colour of war. It can scare us and it can worry us and it can move us. But red isn't significant only to us humans. It holds a special place across the living world. To discover why, I've come to meet Andrew Smith, a zoologist at Anglia Ruskin University. He's working with new world monkeys like these marmosets. Some individuals in the group can distinguish the colour red, others can't. Marmosets have got a slightly strange system of, of colour vision. All of the boys are red-green colour blind, along with about a third of the females. And the remaining two thirds of the females see the world in a very similar way to, uh, to ourselves. So within the same troop of monkeys, some have colour vision like ours and some have red-green colour blindness type vision and you can directly compare the difference. Yes. To discover the difference it makes if you can distinguish red and green, Andrew has set the monkeys a challenge. And I'm going to give it a try. I've got a pair of glasses which will uh, transform your vision from normal colour vision to, if you like, colour blind vision. So if you'd like to put them on. We put some strawberries in the tree um, behind you. We've got some ripe and some unripe strawberries. And I'd like you to find all of the seven ripe strawberries as fast as you can. Ready to go? OK, go. Right. <laughs> the world's gone very green. With the goggles on, I see the world as the colour blind marmosets do. One. The ripe strawberries look very black here, so it's quite hard to pick them out against the dark trees and the dark background. Under here? Oh, there, right, right, I was looking too far forward. All right, so have I done the job? Seven, seven, seven strawberries, seven per ripe strawberries. Perfect, you found, that, found them all, and that took you one minute, um, ten seconds. Andrew resets the tree with fresh strawberries so that I can try again, but this time without the goggles. OK, go. This is much easier. <laughs> Two, three. My natural colour vision is very similar to that of the female marmosets that can also see red. Six, seven. Fantastic. 16 seconds. Yeah. Huge difference. So that's an awful lot faster than the one minute ten that it took you um, when you couldn't tell a difference between uh, red and green. Andrew's been carrying out experiments like this on monkeys to see how colour vision affects their ability to find ripe fruit. There's one just in the background there, having a bit of a look. No, that here we go, here we go, here yeah, we go. Yeah, this one's seen it. That one is sitting right on top of a ripe yeah. strawberry and not noticing it at all. After repeating the test hundreds of times, Andrew found a clear pattern. What we found is that all of the monkeys could do the task given enough time, but the monkeys with human-like colour vision went straight for the ripe fruits. In the wild, being the first to find the food gives you a huge advantage. It can be the difference between life and death. <laughs> 